Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just over the last couple of days, I've been working on this map, and I think I've got it all done. It looks a little funny up here because of the Great Lakes, and I'm not 100% sure. I'm not uh, real versed on the United States up northeast. But here's Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, they were just kind of in there. So I thought I'd show how to cut this map out and actually put it inside of a border. And to do that, it's, it's really big. So we're going to reduce it. We're going to select everything so it will reduce everything equally. I'm going to put up my ratio, and I'm going to make it 75% of the original size. My laser bed is 40 by 28, so now this will fit in there. And Alaska is, is uh, portion its size. So then I'm going to go control G. I'm going to group it together. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. And if you're going to do a map of this size, you're going to want to put a border around it. Let's move Alaska and Hawaii out of the way. I would maybe just leave them off for your first attempt anyway. But I've got this all grouped together. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 40 inches. And I'm going to ungroup this, go to range, group, ungroup. And when you do do that, you get the boundary tool. And I'm going to click boundary, and I'm going to nudge it over. There's you a hairline of your outline that you could cut. So now let's take these and move them over 40 inches. Let's move our outline back. And then let's, let's draw a box whatever size you want it to be. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And now I'm going to use a smart fill tool. I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to nudge that out of the way. We can get rid of this. I'm just going to nudge it up. Now I'm going to left click, right click. And now I've got something that will cut out. We're going to group that together. Go to range. Well, we don't have to group it together because it's all one piece. But I'm going to grab that left corner. I'm going to put it at the top of my laser bed. And I'm going to cut that out. Now you will find that it's going to be a little loose. And on something this big, I don't really know if it'd be worth uh, making the contour a little bit bigger. Because you're going to have a lot of cuts in here. But if you want to try it, let's go to break curve apart. And let's grab our inside. And let's go to Effects, Contour, Contour to the inside, 0 .003, let's say. We're going to contour it in black. And that gives it a tiny little contour, really minute. That might not even be enough, but there's really no way to test it. Go to Arrange, Break Contour Apart. Grab your black contour. Move it out of the way. Take your red and just delete it. Turn your other contour to red. Make sure it's still a hairline. And nudge it back over. That way, when you cut out these pieces, they should fit in there a little snugger. Now, like in the previous video, if you were going to cut this all out of one piece of wood, I would still do this so you won't do this double cut. But if you're going to cut it out of, and I moved it a little bit somehow. Well, I did. I moved it up in that corner. And that's probably easy, pretty easy to fix with if you have Snap 2 on. Let's zoom in here. Grab that node right there and have it snap to that node. Then there should be right on top of each other. Now I can nudge that back out of the way. But if I was going to cut this map out, I would want different colors of wood and that's done on a previous video with the smart field tool and i'm going to fill in uh, washington i'm going to move it over i'm going to fill in oregon and move it over and then that way you have individual cuts let's move this over just a hair and then left click right click and there's your two states you could do that with all your states and then put them in and pick every other one to have a different, you know, they make all kinds of plywood, you know, mahogany and walnut and cherry plywood. 
that you could cut it out of, you know, you could cut some out of birch and have three or four different colors or even stain it afterwards. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.